This video will introduce the arithmetic operators as they apply to integer values. Uh, this is going to be a variation of the example that's in the book. So uh, I'm in the book they just show you an example on page 45 which just does the addition operation only. What I'm going to do with this simple example is to use the arithmetic operators for add, subtract, multiply, divide, plus a modulus operator. Uh, first of all, let's get some more screen space by um, uh, minimizing or temporarily removing our solution explorer, which you see here on the left, on the right, I'm sorry. So I'm going to just close this so we can see the code. Also note that we are beginning with an outline of the program already. Uh, up at the top, we have the comments, which you see here, and uh, this is going to be a case two, which is going to demonstrate the subtract, multiply, divide, and the modulus operators, as well as the addition operator. All right, now let's scroll down and look at the outline. Uh, the first thing we want to do is to declare variables. And following along with the example from the text, we are going to have an, uh, four or several variables of type integer. So we have int, integer one, int, integer two, then sum, and then product, difference, quotient, and remainder. This last line might be something you've not seen before. Previously, we have just declared a single variable per line. And it's possible to declare several variables on the same line as long as you separate them with commas. So in the last line, I have an integer, variable, product, difference, quotient, and remainder. Those are separated by commas and then the entire line is terminated by a semicolon. We are going to prompt the user with our printf statement and scanf statement to enter a number. And then we'll ask them to enter a second number. Then we are going to do some calculations down here. So these are going to be simple. We're just going to do an addition with the add operator, subtract with the dash, uh, multiply with the asterisk, which is the multiply operator in C and divide with the forward slash operator. So that's the divide uh, symbol. And then the modulus operator, which is the percent sign. And what this modulus operator does is to just give us the remainder of a divide, and we'll see that when we get down there. After doing these operations, then we'll just have some printf statements to print the answers to the screen, and then we terminate the program. OK, uh, let's begin. First of all, going back to the top, we'll prompt the user to enter a value. So this is a printf, printf, okay, double quote, enter an integer value. Okay, so let's, uh, period, let's go to a new line for this one. So we'll do backslash n, uh, right paren semicolon. Okay, then we need to scan f to read that value in. So we'll do a scan f, double quote, percent D, since we're reading it an integer, and only one, comma, and then don't forget the ampersand, and we'll use the variable integer one, right paren, semicolon. All right, easy enough. Now we need to uh, prompt the user to enter the uh, second number. So I already have the comment for that, so let's take out some space, and we'll prompt the user to enter the second number. So another printf. Okay, double quote, and we'll just say enter another integer value. Period uh, backslash n, so we'll go to a new line for that one as well. Double quote, right paren, semicolon, and another scan f. Double quote, and then percent d, double quote, comma. And this variable will be uh, integer 2, so we'll ampersand integer two, right paren, semicolon. Okay, now those are the the two inputs. Let's just print those back to the screen to make sure that we did enter them correctly. So let's do print F, double quote, you entered percent D and percent D, backslash N, let's do another backslash N, double quote, uh, oops, yeah, double quote, comma, integer 1, and integer 2. So we'll just write those back out to the screen. It's always a good idea to do this, just in case you've made some mistake, because you, you want to be sure that the data that you've entered is entered correctly. All right, now, just given what we have, uh, let's test our program at this point. So we're going to build it. 
Okay, uh, let's hold on a second here. Okay, let's try that again. Project, uh, build, build solution. And the build has succeeded, so when we run the program, then there, our window comes up, so we enter an integer value, and note we have, we're going to enter it on the line below the prompt. So let's just enter an integer value 5, enter another integer value 6, and we entered 5 and 6. So we've tested our inputs, and they are working just fine. So we'll close the window, and now let's continue. All right, so again, looking at the outline that we already have, what we're going to do now is to calculate the results. Okay, let's take that line out. So let's start with the uh, plus operator. Now notice up above that I have declared variables for sum, product, do that sum, so we'll do the add and store the, store the answer there. The product, of course, for multiplication, difference will contain the difference. When we divide, we'll save the answer in quotient. And when we do the modulus, we'll save it here in remainder. So I'll be using these variables to uh, save the results of the calculations. Okay, so start with the uh, sum with the plus operator. So to do the arithmetic, we just have sum is equal to integer 1 plus integer 2. All right, and remember you terminate the line with the semicolon. Okay, simple stuff, right? So we're just adding these two values together, integer 1, integer 2. And we're going to save the answer in sum. Uh, this thing is called an assignment statement. And we're going to be seeing these now from here on out. So what happens with an assignment statement is that you have a calculation that appears on the right-hand side of the equals. When this calculation is completed, you end up with a single number as the answer. Then that is assigned to the variable on the left-hand side. So all the calculations are done first, and then the assignment is done. Now let's skip ahead, and we are going to come back and do the other operations. But let's go down and output this answer uh, to the out to the uh, screen. So we'll output the value for the sum. So print f. So let's make this a little bit verbose, verbose, and let's say the the sum of, and let's just print the numbers out. Let's do a percent d. That'll help be the holding holding uh, uh, space there for uh, integer one. So we'll say the sum of percent D and percent D, which will be for integer 2, is, and then another percent D will be the sum. Okay, then let's do a backslash in, a double quote, comma. All right, so we want to print out the sum of integer 1, so let's put the variable integer 1 for that one, integer 2, and then sum, right print, semicolon. So we have input the two values up here, integer 1, integer 2. Then we're going to add them together. And then we're going to output our results, the two numbers plus the, uh, the sum, which will be printed to the screen. Let's test this. Build. OK, now we will run. We'll enter our values. Let's say integer 1 is 10, and the other one is 30. So we enter 10 and 30, and then we calculate the sum. Then we print out the sum of 10 and 30 is 40. So that's, that's how you work with a simple addition. Easy enough. Now let's go back and add in the other operations. So we'll finish, finish this quickly. So we're going to do a subtract, and we'll store the answer in difference. So the difference will be equal to integer 1 minus int integer 2. It's okay, so we just do an ordinary subtract. Okay, now let's add in the product, which is the multiply. So we'll do product will be equal to integer 1 with an asterisk times integer 2. Let's do a division. So that will be a quotient. So the quotient will be equal to integer 1 uh, divided with the forward slash by integer 2. And finally, we will do this modulus operation. And that will be the remainder. So remainder will be equal to integer 1. And the modulus operator is a percent sign. And I can't have a space between integer and 1. So integer 1 is the variable. 
modulus integer 2. All right, now what happens with the modulus, if you haven't seen this already, is if you have a couple of numbers and you divide them, then the modulus operator will give you the remainder. You know, for example, 10 divided by 3 will go 3 times with a remainder of 1. So this would output the value 1 if we had integer 1 is 10 and integer 2 is 3. So that's what this modulus operator does. All right, now uh, let's copy this printf statement and we'll edit it to output the other values. How about that? So I'm going to copy and I'll paste it. And now we will just edit a few things. So let's do the difference. And we don't need to print the numbers out again. So let's just say the difference is. And over here we will just print the difference. Okay, we've already printed out integer 1 and integer 2, so we don't need to do that again. Now let's copy that line. Control copy. And let's paste it. And we'll print out the product. So let's change difference to product. And we will print out the product. Okay, but then I'll paste in the printout statement again, and this time we still have the uh, quotient. So Q -T -A -T -I -E -E -T. So the quotient is, uh, we're still printing out integer value, so it's percent D everywhere. And we'll print out the uh, quotient. And then that only leaves our remainder. Okay, so let's paste again. I'm using Control V to paste. The remainder is, and we'll print out remainder. Okay, so that will cover all of the basic arithmetic operations then. Okay, let's fix that typo. So we have uh, several printf statements then that will output the results. So we've got the numbers, we input those, we do an add, subtract, multiply, divide, and a modulus operation, and then we just print the results to the screen. Okay, let's build this program. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back. There was a, I had a syntax error right there. I had put a colon instead of a semicolon, so you got to watch out for that. So now let's try again. We'll build, and it is ready to go. So when I run this, we will be able to see all the operations take place. Okay, so let's enter an integer value. So I'm going to enter seven, it's the first number, and let's do the other number. Let's make it three. All right, so seven and three. I entered 7 and 3. So now let's look at the output. So we did all the operations. So let's scroll down. And here's the here are the printf statements. And let's bring the window back again. So we see the sum of 7 and 3 is 10. The difference is 4. The product is 21. The quotient is 2. And the remainder is 1. Okay, so let's, let's look at these last two. Okay, when we did the divide, okay, the quotient is, and we printed out the quotient there, and we did the divide up here. All right, th this is very important when it comes to integers. So we had 7 divided by 3, and the answer that came out was 2. So when you're dividing two integer values together, then the answer is an integer. So 7 divided by 3 is 2. That means that uh, we just are throwing away the fractional part when we do integer divides. But we can also retain the remainder, if you want to, by doing this modulus. So integer 1 modulus integer 2 gives us the remainder. So the output here would be the remainder is 1. So 7 divided by 3 will be 2 with a remainder of 1. This modulus function is very powerful, and we will see a lot of uh, uses for it later on. Okay, that concludes the uh, program here for simple arithmetic and we will continue with some real number arithmetic in the next video.